All right, today we're going to show you how to bring your own data into Ed. And to do that, you can come up to the little tool icon up here, click on it, come down to Add WMS Service, and that will bring up an interface that allows you to put your own data into Ed. So um, to start off with, we'll start with examples here, um, and then I'll explain what this is actually doing. So I'm going to choose the ArcGIS 93 REST interface, and I'm going to choose Interstates. And uh, what that does is it comes in here and pre-populates the layer name with interstates, which is really can be any name you want. You can name this roads or anything. It doesn't really matter. The important part is that you get the service URL right, which is this part right here, and also the layers. So um, the service URL is probably the most tricky thing to find. But if I went to this link here and I brought up uh, that specific specific thing. It'll come to a point where it shows you an ArcGIS REST service directory. Um, the, the key point here is here's your directory and you're looking for um, anything that says map server. So in this example if I go back up to the map server directory here is the end place you want to be to figure out what you want to add to the map. Uh, here are the layers that are available. And to access one of them, you put the number that's located in parentheses at the end of the layer into this layer portion right here. So here we added 2 and 10 to the map, um, which if you come back to this, is interstate labels and the interstate features, which are the, the lines. Now, so that covers the layers part, but to, how do you get that service URL I was talking about? That down here is always at the bottom of an ArcGIS service, and it's called Export Map. You can simply right-click on it and copy the link address, which is a long chunk of uh, characters. And if I show you what that looks like, it's this long thing right here. Um, Ed is pretty smart, because uh, if you actually take that and if you paste that into Ed, it gets rid of all the, uh, the junk on the end and gets exactly to the point that you need in that URL. And once you uh, click Add down here, It'll add that to the map. And keep in mind, this again is an ArcGIS service, so we're going to want this radio button checked right here. Um, if you're using a different service, like a web mapping service, you would check this button right here. And these first two options are what you will use 95% of the time, maybe even 99% of the time. Some older servers have different projections that they have the data in, and as supports both uh, the 900913 projection and the 4326 projection, it actually does a transformation to make this into a Google projection, um, or a Esri proje projection. There's a lot of uh, differences in the naming um, conventions, but basically, whatever, whatever Ed is displaying in the background, uh, these will get them into the right projection. Now, uh, let's let's show a, a web mapping service example here. So normally I would select this, but um, I do have a couple handy tidbits in my examples up here. So I'm going to choose the wilderness preservation areas. And like again, it pre-populates these with exactly what you need. Um, and so there they show up on the map. And if you click on the legend up here in the upper right hand corner, it will also show you the uh, wilderness preservation areas as an image here. And so uh, now, uh, let's close down that legend, and say you zoom into this area right here. Uh, you can use this button right here, which brings up the layer manager, to basically control the opacity of that layer. So I'm going to select the wilderness preservation layer, and I can move the opacity to left and right, and that'll make it more transparent or opaque. Um, and I can also remove that layer from the map, too, really quickly by clicking on that button. So now it's no longer on the map. But if I wanted to add it back, I can easily, simply just add this button, click this button right here, and back it comes. Now, WMS services are a little more complicated in the sense that they need um, a get capabilities request that will be sent to the server. And that makes it easy because right in this button right here, you can actually issue this request, and it'll take the server, and it'll make that request for you. And the, like I said, the request is kind of ugly to actually sit and type out. But if you do put it in there, uh, the server will return a response showing you what fields are available. And some of these are pretty big um, to resp respond, so it takes a little while to load, but in Google Chrome, it actually renders it 
to show you um, the XML after that service uh, returns that data. Now, I'll, I'll let that spit, sit and spin in the background while I show you another feature of uh, Ed here. So just say, for example, I really like that uh, wilderness preservation area um, uh, layer. Uh, previously, I actually saved that, and it pre-populated my load saved service um, layer. So let's choose a different one just for examples. I'll do coastal vulnerabilities to sea rise. And so I'll zoom out a little bit, and as you can see, that layer appears here in the red and green areas. Um, down here, you can see it doesn't appear. So I want to save that layer. If I click on the Save button, it'll pop up a window and already gives the uh, name right here, which really all we have to do is click Save if we really want that layer. And now you'll see that when you come back down here, the coastal vulnerability to sea level rise is now within this uh, select box. So when you refresh the page, you will come back and it will already be there. And the cool thing is, it's very, very quick to get that layer back into Ed. Um, I'll bring this up again, and I'll bring that up, and I'll click Add to Map. And that layer comes streaming right back in. So that's a quick way to save layers um, and bring up uh, different parts. Um, so. What have I not gone over is uh, I added some a data source button here. So if you want to try to look for a couple different uh, layers, there's a lot of different options here you can go through. Again, just keep in mind that the server or the type of the layer is important. Uh, ArcGIS layers look like uh, this, where um, a web mapping service, the URL finally returned and rendered, looks something like this. Now, there's a bunch of garbly gook in here, and really the thing that you're concerned about is these uh, layers here. And so, for instance, if I wanted to look at uh, this layer right here, I could grab that and copy that um, name of that layer, and I could put that name right here, and then I could uh, give it a name. Uh, I think that was crops, but we'll come back and double check. Uh, crop one. So. This is uh, all wheat for grain harvested acres. And the service URL is typically um, given away by, if you ever see this Get Legend graphic, at the very beginning, everything before this uh, question mark there will uh, be the WMS server. So that's the, that's the part that you want to put in this service URL. So if I get rid of that, add that, and I add the crop layer using a WMS service because that's what that this uh, this is right here. This is a, a WMS server that we used earlier by selecting this. And if I add that to the map, it will populate the map with all of the relevant information um, to crops. And again, uh, there's your uh, legend. And I think this was a wheat, so you might want to give it a little bit more descriptive name rather than crops. But uh, it's uh, right there, and again, you can click on here to control the opacity and so forth. And this is where Ed is really powerful, because you can add really any data source that you want into Ed, and then you can use the features of Ed to basically overlay the weather data that you're interested in. So here's an example of just throwing the radar data on top, and then, you, of course, you can loop it or throw hazards or anything else that you want to um, right on top of Ed. and there you go. You've got full access to um, just enormous amounts of data. Uh, so I hope this uh, tutorial was useful. Um, you can always uh, revisit it by clicking on this video demo portion here. Uh, and uh, hope you found it inter interesting. Thank you.